G'day guys, how you going? I'm just going to make us a quick cocktail and then me and Pete from WA Camping Adventures are going to do a Q&A while the sun sets up here in Shark Bay. Pina coladas, Pete, can I do you one? Yeah, yes please. Awesome, mate. Oh yeah, nice. Been a good trip, hasn't it, mate? One I'll never ever forget, man. Uh, me either. So I put a... Um, a post out on Facebook and Instagram asking people if they've got any questions for Pete and I while we're up here and there were quite a few there so I'll rip through as many as I can um, without sort of rabbiting on for too much and then we'll enjoy the sunset with a drink. Sound good Pete? Sounds mean. Awesome mate. So Dawn Adventures asks you can only camp at one uh, camp for the rest of your life, beach or bush. Oh, no brainer. For the rest of my life, beach. I'm a yeah. beach kid, man. I love the coast too much. Sound yeah. of the waves. Yeah, me yep. too. I might just move that camera a bit closer. Mm. You alright? Mm. That's better. Cheers, mate. Cheers, buddy. Well, yeah. this is nice. No, I'm the same, man. And because there's more to do in the beach. Like, um, you can swim, snorkel, boat. Yeah. There's like activity, stuff you can do. Yeah, exactly. Keeps it interesting. Um, oh yeah, alright, cool. Joe Sarka, I'm moving to WA from Victoria in the next couple of months. I've got a Grand Cherokee and a camper trailer. Where should we go first? <laughs> oh, trying not to do a Jeep joke, but... <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I'm, I'm only joking. I'm absolutely only joking. I had a Navara before this, so... I had um, a Navara as well. Go on, you go. i got to think. One spot. WA is a big, big state. I don't know, it depends where you're moving to. If you're moving to Perth... Then hit up um, Sandy Cape for yep. beach stuff. Yep. Dwelling up. Um, yeah, with southwest. a camper trailer. I'd agree. Southwest yeah. for sure. Yeah. Yeah, that it'll blow your mind. Margaret River, Dunsborough. Foreign up forest. Yeah, there's heaps. There's heaps. Um, that's out of Perth. But yeah, WA is a massive state, so it would depend where you're moving to, I guess. Yeah. Where are they moving from again? From Victoria. Oh, okay, cool. Yep. Mm. Just wondering where, whether anyone has like the, you know, the understanding that how vast it is you know yeah it's such it's a big huge, difference man yeah. it's half the country yeah um Thai B are you keeping the tinny considering the weight and uh will that affect the fan wicked question um if you'd gone back and what there's a couple of videos I did not long ago on what we went through to choose the van and that was one of the considerations we've got an overall weight restriction for the car and then I've included the tinny and then worked out what I can tow um with all that set up and yeah, I, I'm trying to find a way where I can do both. And I think I might have done it. It won't be with this tinny though, it'll be with something lighter. This tinny is like 180 kilos. Yeah, it's a lot, but damn, it's so nice on the water. It's been really good this trip, yeah, hasn't man. it? Yeah, man. Yeah. I'm gonna try to find something around 80 kilos, mm -hmm. so about 100 kilos lighter. Just wanna know if I'm gonna get rid of my tinny for the van? Oh yeah, go. <laughs> no, well, you are, tell, them, tell them about your tinny, what you've done. <laughs> no, I'm just getting, I'm getting rid of it now. And I've just upgraded to a little runabout. Yeah, it's yeah. a beauty. I was only joking, sorry. I was <laughs> just shit doing. Um, I don't think you covered this in your questions. Loopy Fruit, Tom. Tommy! He said, here's one for you. Swap cars for two days. Not just a little trip. Um, see what you both love or hate about it. Could be interesting with what you two come up with. What do you think about that? Oh, I'd be fine with it. I'd be absolutely... I'd, I'd be stepping up, but uh, what, what would you be like? I'd be keen I'd, to do I don't it. know if I want to do it to your back, mate. Nah, I'd be keen. I'd would be, you? Would oh, you yeah, really? Just for something different. I love the 70 series cruises. I reckon oh, they're wicked. Mate, I've come do from land cruises I would, too. I would be absolutely keen, but I'm worried that... Oh, do you know what? It happens so much with a 76 series. It's a weird thing, the love the love relationship you have with that car. Yeah. But any time you hop into any other car and then go back into it, it feels like the biggest piece of crap ever. That's funny, because I get that from this. I no jump, way! I jump out of this and I jump into a mate's 200 series or Y62 or something like that. Yeah. And it's like, man, I'm missing out. Yeah. Oh jeez, welcome to the the lowest rung. Oh, I know, man. I'd be keen I'm, to do that. It'd be a good, yeah, it'd be good fun. Got to remember, I came from a Povo Pack 105. Oh, cool. You might be. At, oh, the young company. Yeah, but they're yeah. spring, aren't they? Coil sprung both front and back. They are, but yeah. um, vinyl thin as bench seat oh, on the you'll front. Be, you'll be home with that then. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> Wicked question, Tom. Yeah. Question to both of you: What is the best and worst thing about publicising your travels, and what other YouTube personality would you like to spend a week with? Oh. What an awesome question. Damn it, that's good. Yeah, What's her name? What's the person's name? Oh, sorry, I should have said that was the Swano. Oh, Swano. Paul Swanson. 
Oh, oh yeah, cool. Yep. Paul, what a champion. Always mm. comes up with good questions. Um, go on, mate. You go. Um, best and worst things. The best thing is having a positive impact on people's lives. Yes. Um, and I know other like channels have had positive impacts on my life, um, yep. so I hope that I could do the same. Get people through when they're bored or um, or they're busy and they can't get out on their own trips and they can still live vicariously through me. I would I'd like to think people could do that. I'd like to think that I could inspire um, people to take their families out yeah, um, and great, to man. see more of their backyard. Worst things are um, there's not a lot to be honest with you. The trolls. Yeah, but they don't. I, honestly, I've never had. I don't think I've ever had anyone that really bothered me. Yeah. I'm quite. Um, yeah. Things don't really wear me down like that, though. Like water off a duck's back, eh? Yeah, maybe. What about you, buddy? Um, I've got to say, yeah, um, especially Swano. I have a good chat to Swano, but I reckon the most... Like, it's so good to see people watching, well, little old me with with their kids, you know? The kids yeah, like watching yeah. it as well. And I, I think to myself, oh, that's great, you know? Um, being a family man myself. That's why I will always want to keep it family friendly, you know. But yeah, um, I like the creative process. That's that's so fun. It is, Try, you know, trying different ideas and stuff. Sometimes they don't work at all. And better yourself. Yeah. But the week that I'd like to spend some Chris Bamman on oh, YouTube. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I wouldn't take any cameras. I just want to soak it in and see where he could take me. I yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Take me to Pleasure Town. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> I know exactly what you mean. Uh, yeah, I could, I could do a week with Chris. I could do a week with... Um, is that what it was? A week? Yeah. Yeah, I could do a week with... Um, uh, Brody, Brody Moss, Moss, Matt Field. I knew Field. you were going to say that. Yeah. yeah, you know I love... I'm wearing oh, Field Days. I love Field Days. Yeah, Matt Field. But I, I feel like I'd them. need a nap. <laughs> oh, they're high energy. <laughs> so I feel like that with you. You're high energy compared, compared to me. You know, I need naps. I'm like a sloth. <laughs> uh, thanks for that, Paul. Wicked question. Yeah. BJ Street 82. Uh, do you find yourself having to spend a lot of money to keep up to date with YouTube, like cars, trays, caravans, 12 volt boats, for example? Uh, I think that's probably directed at me because I've bought all of those things recently. <laughs> um, uh, it's not about keeping up with YouTube. I couldn't care less. I'm not. I don't. I don't really care about having the newest or the latest or the greatest for the sake of having it. Yeah. I. I um, uh, I work hard to um, buy the toys that yep. I want. And what I like about four-wheel driving and camping and caravanning and boating is they're kind, it's family-orientated yep. stuff. Um, my wife and kids get a lot of enjoyment out of coming away with us uh, in a caravan, uh, in the car. I'm trying to get him into boating. We'll see yep. how we go. Um, but, yeah, no, I don't, I, I, I don't feel like I would have sp I'd spend any less money if I wasn't YouTubing on this kind of stuff. It's my lifestyle, it's my hobby, it's yep. what I enjoy doing. I film it as well, if you know yeah, what I mean. Yeah, yeah, exactly. For me, it's, um, I'd be doing this stuff even if I didn't have a YouTube channel. Exactly. Everything I'd own, I'd still have it. It's just a matter of um, picking up a cheap camera and, but I'll, I'll tell you what, I have sacrificed a little, when I say a little bit, I'm gonna, I need to, yeah. I sold like a, a quad bike to, to get my drone. Oh yeah. You know, because I thought to myself, no, I'll try and invest back into myself type yeah. of thing. And not to take it too, you know, too high or too full on, but um, the filming gear that I've got, you know, you still, when you can afford it, you know, take your time. You said you said today in your Q&A that yeah. your camera was second hand from Cashies second or hand, something? No, nah, second hand from a bloke on um, Gumtree, 430 bucks cash. And this was like yeah. three years ago. Still got the same camera and I'm still happy with it. You know, I want yeah. to see what I can do with a shit camera. Yeah, you're doing sorry a good to, job. Sorry to, thank you, buddy. And so are you. <laughs> you're doing well at losing them. Oh, I lost one this trip. You've probably seen. I lost a GoPro. <laughs> That's like the third GoPro I've lost. I've lost two or three drones. I don't have a great track record. So I'm spending a lot of money on camera gear. Um, yeah, yeah that's, that is a normal thing, yeah. yeah. But you get it when you are comfortable enough to get it. Yeah. You don't go out there and oh, take a loan out. I shoot I shoot a lot on my iPhone. You've seen me. I do a lot yeah, of shooting on beautiful. my iPhone. Yeah, it does yeah. well. Um, I don't know how much light we got, so let's rip through. Yeah. Uh, my wife, Tiff... Has said, oh, how did you I'm both end up? With, how did you both end up with such amazing wives? We really are. So yeah, I'm lucky. not even going to laugh at that because I'm I'm here now. We're nine days into it. Yeah, and I, I'm missing. I'm. Oh, we I'm absolutely my know. Girls. I really am I'm getting goosebumps thinking about. It. I'm going to choke up. We, we absolutely are, know how lucky we are. Mm. Right, we do. Yeah. <laughs> He's starting to look attractive. I'll be honest with you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, we, we um, I I married a beautiful country girl. That's what I did. She she was a. I don't know. She was built just for me, I think. 
Mm. <laughs> we are lucky. They do a heap behind the scenes too that you don't see um, to help yeah, us we... out to be able to be here and do this sort of stuff. So we're super lucky. Love you, babe. Thank you. I love you too, Tiff. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, nah, we're lucky, mate. It's awesome. Uh, I think this might be Facebook. How did you, uh, from Liam Barnes, how did you both get into doing YouTube? Yeah, uh, uh, I got into YouTube not far, not long after you. Um, I just started filming little videos of me and my mates going to like an annual boys trip and then, I don't know, started making little videos and sending it to each of those guys and I thought, bugger it, I'll have a go at YouTube. Um, and then they were just videos of... Um, <laughs> Someone's driving yeah. past now. We oh, still, it's so awkward. We still get uncomfortable when people see us filming because it's weird. Yeah, I don't know. I do get very uncomfortable. I do too. Oh, second one's coming through. Oh, just anyway. pretend to look at something else. No, nah, they don't care. Yeah, just another beer bum in the shower. And nah, we're good. Um, <laughs> yeah, and then uh, I'd send that to... Sorry, I can't remember where I was. Oh, then I did a heap of videos, um, just like a, a, like a, like a crappy cut video edited to some music, my, one of my favourite songs, and then that step up to put your face on camera, that mm. is, that made me crap myself. Because you're putting yourself out there for any man and his dog just to say what's up. wrong with you. But I was so damn lucky to have wicked followers just like this. So, yeah. thank you. Yep, so, you. Uh, yeah, Liam, I'm much Thanks, the, Liam. I'm much the same, mate. I started filming, um, I don't really know why, but I think my Facebook feed, because I, I was going away just as much as I do now, and probably yep. my personal Facebook feed was just full of photos of full driving, fishing, camping, um, traveling, that kind of stuff. And I think I got to a point where I thought um, uh, I wanted to put it all on a separate, like, dedicated Facebook page just so I could go back and look through it myself and so that I didn't bore all the rest of my friends that weren't into that kind yeah, of thing. Yeah, that's it. If people wanted to see photos of me camping, they could follow the page. And then, yeah, I think that was the beginning of it. Yeah, and then I found you through um, YouTube. Yeah, yeah and then you're I, camping I, in Lucky Bay. Shortly after yep. that, I started filming stuff. Yeah, but, you're really good. Uh, but we talked about this earlier today. Um, if you're thinking about starting um, uh, doing YouTube videos, what I did to make myself comfort more comfortable with it was I would film, I filmed five or six little videos, edited them at home and never really showed anyone. Yeah, and then after it. I got the courage up, because it is it. really awkward to put your face out there. And I still get uncomfortable seeing my face and hearing my voice on camera. Yeah. I get very comfortable talking in front of the camera when no one's there. Yeah. No worries at all now. Yeah. Um, but that's something, that's hard in itself. You build up to it, eh? Yeah, 100%. Cheers, Liam. But, geez, give it a go. If you, if you're in, if you want to have a go, give it a go. Geez, if I can do it or he can do it, anyone can. It's amazing. Uh, Mark Costa asks, what are the pros and cons of having a ute with a canopy versus a wagon like Pete? Mm, great question. Really good question and something that we often talk about as well because um, there are pros and cons. For me, um, uh, having a canopy opens up more um, potential different setups that you can have. You can totally, yeah. yeah, you can totally customize it to your kind of camping, which was what uh, my build was for me. It's exactly what I needed for what I wanted to do. The cons of that are obviously the cost. They're they're very expensive. Yeah. Um, and also, like you know, you're sort of making a wagon on the back of a ute, so it, there is that sort of it's a bit counterproductive. Yeah, yep. yep. Um, but adding a bit of room, I guess. And access, you can get to both sides on a on a um, like a gullwing canopy, so you can access both sides. So there's less limitations there. Uh, the other con would be um, the weight. The, the, the car was not set up to have this much stuff bolted on it, so you have to start um, modifying it and uh, getting engineering like GVM upgrades and stuff like that to be able to do it. I don't think I can add to that, mate. No, um, you're adding a lot more room, aren't you? You know, yeah. and a lot more variation. And uh, yeah, I can't really add to yours. Yeah, I've heard you say a couple of times you'd love to have a setup like this. Absolutely, I would. But then yeah. I think to myself, like the next, and I think I've said to you, the next car I buy, I'll probably get a wagon. Yeah, yeah. So gotcha. yeah, there are pros and cons, and it just depends mm. where you're at with your setup at the time. Uh, Narelle says, "How do you secure travel with extra fuel cans? We don't have a long range fuel tank." Ah. <laughs> That's that's a great quote. I can answer I that as well because yeah. I don't have a big fuel tank. Oh, either. yeah, go on then. Um, jerry cans. Yeah, <laughs> it's really good because the thing is, there's not many times, Narelle, that I've been in like a situation where, you know, I plan my trips around. You know, I know where I'm going, obviously, but if if you're going remote, jerry cans would have to be the only way to go, a hundred percent, and yeah. finding a good way to secure them. If they're on your roof rack, get the old jerry can holders. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, I like carrying jerry cans, I've got to be honest. Just a bit of safety there. Yeah. 
I've got a long range tank, but I will sometimes take a jerry can holder. If you've got a caravan or a camper trailer, easy. Yeah. Either weld or bolt on some jerry can holders and take jerry cans, plastic ones. Don't bother with the metal ones, in my yep. opinion. Yep. Um, you can put. Uh, yeah, I agree. Yep. You can put bite locks or, or chain through them with padlocks if you're concerned about security. That's not an issue in most places, but certainly I've been through some places yep. like in Central Australia where. Uh, there are signs telling you to secure your, your yeah, petrol, good. especially to yeah, your car. We good. won't get into that. But um, <laughs> uh, I've got a jerry can holder on the back <laughs> of my car now. Um, just don't put it in your cab. Don't put it in your wagon. Oh, it'll stick. yeah, 100%. Sorry, I should have said that. But you touched on a, a good point. Um, your average fuel tank on your average car, like especially four-wheel drives and touring cars and stuff, probably gets you, what, six, 700 k's yeah. of range? Yep. And that is enough for all sort of circumnavigating the main roads in Australia. Yeah, you They're, should be able to find a fuel station along your route yeah. somewhere, even if you have to divert 25, 30 k's. I've had to do that, and it's fine. Jeez. Um, unless you go Not pretty remote, exactly. you can get away with about 600 k's of range, hey? Yeah, exactly, and take two more, take two jerry cans, which is 40 kilos more weight. Yeah. It's got, you know, 40 litres for you, half a tank, basically. Yeah. And, yeah, you're good to go, get you out of trouble, I guess. Yeah. That's a wicked question, yeah. It was, it's a good question. It was a good one. Because a lot of people can't, well, a lot of people can't get the old bigger tanks, you know? Yeah. Uh, Red Dust Adventures. Ah, um, champion. <laughs> uh, was gonna, did he ask you the same question? Did you already What's answer that? that? Um, what, have got? what have you done to your rig that if you had your time over, you wouldn't do it again, and why? I think we did that on your video. Yeah, yeah, we did. Um, what did we say? I think. Oh, so, I said Chinese canopy. Yep. Just because it fell apart, and for like a lot of people could get away with them if, if you're just a yep. like a weekend warrior, or you don't go too far off road or on corrugations yep. or whatever. If you're exactly. a tradie and it's a work rig, it's probably okay. But um, for the sort of touring and stuff that I was doing. It was never secure, it leaked dust, it leaked water, and yep. it was falling apart. Yeah. Oh yeah, for mine it was just a simple little uh, cargo net that I've screwed yeah, to my yeah. roof. Oh, I didn't know I did that, but He's put a I've gone through, through the roof. roof. I didn't know, oh, I thought there God. was a pillar there. Um, but I thought I'd use it a, a lot more. I thought I'd ha you know put sleeping gear and that in there, but I just never have. It's just pretty simple. So yeah. Sue asked, could you please show me the setup for the tinny on the D-Max? Thanks. So if you click on my YouTube channel and you have a look at my videos, I've definitely done a couple on the, the how I've set up the tinny and also how it works with loading onto the Thunderfab canopy. Um, Elliot Fox says, when's Pete going to get a capable car, you pelican? Is <laughs> <laughs> uh, he talking, though, talking about my neck fat? Elliot's a, um, Elliot's a Land Cruiser fan, so I'm surprised he'd come out with that. I thought he'd rip me. Yeah, I bet. What does he have, a 200 or a 100 series? No, God he's damn, a, Elliot. No, if he's still got the same rig that he had when... Um, uh, the last time I saw him, he had a 105 series with a big turbo on it. It was pretty cool. Okay. <laughs> He's still in a position to talk down to me. That's yeah. fine. Thanks, Elliot. Uh, going overland, Oz. <laughs> when are you guys coming over to the East Coast and what is your must-see places? Also, a great thing to talk about is how you found out about the must-see places. Uh, on another note, thanks for inspiring us to do our big lap. Oh, that's awesome. And posting on YouTube. Jesus. Good on you. Go, going overland, Oz. I've got a YouTube channel. Awesome. So, over East, Pete, what do you want to see? Vic High Country, that's my number one. Yeah. Yeah, I'd love, I would, my dream is to have that in snow. <coughs> that would be cool. Yeah, and that's it. That's my number one thing I'll have to do for a die, I reckon. I do also really want to do that, but I, pro I have a real yearning for far north Queensland. I love the rainforest. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You want to just see Bucko, don't you? I do want to go see Bucko, Because yeah. we know exactly where he is. He says it in every video. We do. Bucko, up in north, far north Queensland. That's right. Champion. Um, and what else say? How do you find out Terrible about your must-see places? Wiki camps, HEMA maps, YouTube, Google um, Earth, TripAdvisor, and then for specific campsites, yeah, I use a lot of Google Earth yeah. satellite maps as well. Yeah. Half the fun is just, you know, oh, there's a track. Turn down it, it's so good. Absolutely. God, I can't look at the camera, it's just so know, nice out there. In the and guys, look behind there. Can, Can we flip it around that, yet? Mate? Oh, I know the Red Cliffs, well, there's a crazy sunset there. I'll show you in a minute. Mark Smith. G'day, Mark. I know you love your travel, buddy. And now the wanky air fryer. Oh, Mark. Low blow. So my question is, what oh, is your favourite? He's been such a kind young man. I know. My question is, what is your favourite all-time camp meal? Jeez. I can't. There, there's not one, mate. I just love food. This mm. trip, if, if you would have hopefully seen all the trip videos we've done already, um, Pete's may still be coming out. Make sure you double, jump onto WA Camping Adventures YouTube channel because um, Pete's got absolutely different content coming out sometime after mine, probably. Just a little bit lower. Mm. Oh, no. 
Um, We've had some good meals. A this stew, trip. a bloody stew. Really? Dude. Oh, a nice hot stew, just full of veggies, big fatty chunks of meat in there on a cold ass night in front of a fire. Nothing better. Yeah, okay. How, can, how come you can't name one, honestly? Because I like it just all. Just name something nice. Like, I, like, honestly, I like a roast. We're doing a, we're doing a roast tonight. I've got yeah. a short term memory, hey. I'm only saying roast because we're doing a roast yeah, he's tonight. He's been calling me Mike all weekend. It's weird. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Kieran. How do you find HEMA maps? I've heard it can be hard to use. Oh. HEMA do the best mapping, yep. hands down. There's yep, no 100%. doubt about it. Um, their HEMA app on the phone is fantastic. Mm -hmm. um, the, uh, the ideal setup is using the HEMA app on a, um, a cellular iPad. A hundred percent. I reckon the actual consoles, like the the units, the head units, mm. I reckon they're terrible. They're, you, you move your finger and it's the picture's trying to keep up. I've got one. Oh, sorry, I've but I've got I'm the new one, the HX2, and yep. I hundred percent agree. It was like eight hundred bucks or something. It's 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 yeah, it's junk. Yeah, it's yeah, slow. It sucks, it's man. laggy. Yep. It's just cheap, really cheap hardware. Mm. The app itself is brilliant. Been but using that for over five years now. Do it on your smartphone. Yeah, never had a problem. I've had one problem where it, it just stuffed up on me, but I knew where I was luckily, so that's yeah. about it. Um, Dick Guerin, you blokes are spoiled having such a big state to holiday in, especially during yeah, COVID. We are, we are mate, yeah. but we, we're, we know it. We're pretty thankful. Uh, where is one place you'd like to get on the east side? We did that, but I just wanted to read that out because you're a champion, Dick. Yeah, he's such a nice Good on you, mate. <laughs> yeah. I think that might be it, mate. I think I've ripped through them. Wow. Yeah. You peed through that. I know. You were doing eight parts for your Q&A, weren't you? <laughs> it was yeah, one... I'm going to do one in the car. We'll do one in the, I did say in the I car, do... me I... and you. I'll do it in one mm. drink. Yeah. There we go. That was a good effort. You yeah. smashed through that, buddy. Thank you, guys, for the awesome questions. I'm going to whip around and show you the sunset. Thanks, oh, guys. Oh, it's beautiful, isn't it? Come around here, Pete, and I'll pour you another drink, my man. Have a look that at that. That is one thing that you cannot stuff with up here. What's that, sunsets? It's just... Epic, mate. Yeah. Thank you, Legends, for all the questions, and thank you for watching the Shark Bay series. I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, thank you, guys. Absolutely awesome. Yeah, Pete and I will... We'll, come in here, Pete. Oh. Pete and I will definitely be doing another one like this together oh. soon. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but until then, like, subscribe, comment, do all that good stuff. If you want to help support the channel, consider Patreon. Um, fishing shirts, grab them, that pre-order. Actually, that might have already finished. You might have missed out, but I'll do another one soon. Uh, the rest of all the merch is in stock, so if you're interested, have a look. Thank you, guys. Cheers, brother. Cheers, Thank you for mate. a great trip, man. What a freaking awesome trip. It's been good.